Hey folks, this is Vagrant, welcome back to Dragon's Dogma 2, and we're loading in on the pause screen, because as you can see, Colby is back alive. The autosave must have hit before Colby died, I just loaded from the last autosave. So I am going to run, uh, we're going to ignore Balthazar, whoever that is, and hopefully actually make it to Colby in time. Wait, what's going on? Wait, Colby's here! No, I'm a fool! <laughs> he teleported somehow. Colby! Colby! It's okay, buddy. I got... Colby! Oh, stop talking! What are you doing? Stop talking to me! Yeah, okay. What's going on? Here he is! I found our troublemaker! Guys! Jonas! What is the meaning of this? This blasted beastrin went and ventured into Stormwind Cave! How many times have we said none are to tread there? But he just had to poke his nose where it didn't belong. There can be no doubt. He's the one who incited the Saurian's attack. Forgive me. I never meant for any of this to happen. <laughs> Trust a beastron to muck things up. Racism. Jonas! Surely there's no need for such talk. Ah, you would say that, wouldn't you? Seems to me beastrons go oh my God. problems. And we humans are lumped with the job of cleaning up after him. Jonas, please! You're being ridiculous. Fair! I do apologize. It would seem things have turned rather uncomfortable. But we mustn't let this sour your triumph. You came to our aid when we needed it most. And for that, you have our gratitude, sir. Arisen. I do hope you shall visit us again anon. Right, you guys just got Colby killed. Just so you're aware, you all got Kobe killed. Forgive me. <laughs> like I would have got to him in time, except that time passes while conversations happen. So Colby has died because these guys just had to talk to me. All right, we have to go find another one. I was considering replacing him anyway, but I didn't want him to die. You know. Okay, so I've got Balthazar, Mage. I do with a. Uh, yeah, Willow maybe. Level 16. Archer, sure. I am attentive and loyal and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Sure. Uh actually before we do this, before we do this. Let me check the uh special ones. Level 18. Thea. Sure. Wait, no. Where? What? Ah, no. Ah! These are just... Oh, no. This is just a list of all the ones in the rift. Right, okay. So if I add a marker to Thea... Yeah, okay. That's pretty handy, actually. That's much better than what I was doing. Should you wish to pick your foes off from afar, you need look no further than an archer such as I. Cool. Shall we discuss tactics now or later? Okay, well, the deal is... Don't get yourself murdered like Colby did, okay? Because I can't go through that again. That made me quite sad. He <laughs> just sit there. <laughs> what must he have thought? We were there just having a lovely conversation. There is a rumor whispered among pawns that I have oft pondered. The gist of it is when pawns travel beyond the rift, we can contract a peculiar illness that imperils the lives of those around us. At first, we are only restless and excitable, but in time, we become so unruly that even the Arisen holds no sway over us. That sounds most unpleasant. I do hope we shall remain free of it. Yeah, I would hate a revolution. I got you, Feyoran. Thank you, Sir Arisen. That's twice now you've aided us. We've a long road ahead, but fear not. Our village shall be bustling again ere long. I do hope you'll stop by if ever you're passing through. Okay, that was a intense start. Hi, <laughs> welcome to Dragon's Dogma 2. Ooh. I suppose you think you can afford to be welcome, sir. Doubly so. If Anything you good? Maybe. New rings. Uh, prevent you from falling asleep. Um, reduces sleep. Oh, hello. <laughs> All right, let's let's calm down a little bit. It's actually really good as well. <laughs> um, interesting. That's really good as well. It's very expensive. I really like this feather clock though. That's baller. It's not very good, but it looks awesome. It doesn't that matter more. Annoyingly, my cloak is just as good as all of these, so I can't really justify buying them, even though I want to. I don't think I want to spend 16k 
on this. It's, it's, it's good though. I mean, this one in particular, because this works for, this is actually really good. <laughs> really good stars, and it works for all the different classes. So we could just keep wearing it. I think that's what I want to maybe prioritize with my gear on this character is something that works no matter what class you are. But I just, it's such a ridiculous combination. <laughs> I can't do it. I just can't. God, everything's rotted. I wonder if time passes when I respawn and stuff like that. And that's why everything rotted. <clears throat> Many thanks, sir. You two Ains. Right, no so purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. I'm sure they do. Browsing was enough to that old man by the shore. What drives him so unbendingly out into open waters? He's something of an enigma, isn't he? They keep talking. understand more in time. They keep talking about this old man, and I don't know who they're talking about. What old man? Oh, hello, look at that in the water. That's cool. What old man? Am I crazy? Are they all crazy? It's one of the two. <laughs> uh, right, anyways, yeah, okay, so the Saurians attacked once more. More of the villagers have arrived. It seems like we probably have to come back here yet again in the future. We don't actually have the quest right now. Um, I want to go... So we actually can't do any of those quests. So I think what we're going to do to kick things off today... I, uh, I need to heal is the problem, and I just I can't. I don't have a campsite. Well, what I want to do is go to... Um, <clears throat> where's that village? Where's Melv? I want to go to Melv. Melv is miles away. Uh, God, Melv is a trek. I think I think if we go here, north of Vernworth, like this one takes us this way, right? Over to there, I think. I think this one might take us to Melv. So let's head back to the city. We can heal up, and then we'll head to Melv. Because Melv also got attacked by the dragon, and I'm hoping that something has uh, occurred there that will help us. And, you know, we can explore a little bit, etc., etc. And then hopefully we can uh, move on. That dragon was mad last time. I've only just, I kind of like, I quit the game and I thought, well, maybe I'll keep going. <laughs> so I kind of just loaded back up. I haven't mentally recovered. Mathia. Is that a statue I espy over yonder? From this distance, I cannot be sure. We shall have to make our way over to it. Oh, yeah. Um, look, if it looks like something I can make my way to, we'll make our way over, okay, buddy? I discovered a treasure chest hereabouts during my last journey beyond the rift. Shall I guide you to it? Go for it, Thea. Never mind the statue, I guess. I mean, I think it's just one of those ones, you know, the ones with a little, like, dragon face, etc. on it. So I don't, I don't think it's anything too exciting. To me to do this. Isn't that always the way of things? Can't say I'm thrilled, but I'll get it done. I might upgrade my sword. So I feel like I'm doing very little damage. Like, I felt quite strong, but in retrospect, we haven't upgraded our gear in a really long time. So getting a new weapon is pretty high on my list right now. Where are you taking me, Thea? Like, just fighting those Saurians in the village. I guess at the end of last video. Um... I, I felt like I was slapping them, you know? Result in different creations. Creations. And I would like to not slap them, personally, so. Might upgrade the sword a little bit, we'll see if we can find a better one. Um, <clears throat> maybe we'll go to the border town. And just have a look what they've got. We're here, and none the worse for wear. Okay. Where's this chest at, Thea? Don't deny you've brought me to a sneaky little location. Oh, is it up there? Might be up there. Oh, I don't think I can get up there, though. Thea? Where? <laughs> I don't deny... I don't, I, I'm, not, I'm not blaming you. I'm not saying you're lying to me. But... If there is a chest here, I don't know where it is. I 
There's got to be a way to get up there. Um, I need to take... Right, another thing we're going to do when we get to a town. We're going to take an ability like the shield... Aha! We're going to take like the shield jump thing, Majigi, that we saw. I need a way to get higher up. I need a way to launch. Because there's been a few times now there's been something that I can't get to because it's too high up. And there are several ways to get there. I just need to, to unlock them. Right, anyways. Can't believe Colby died. I wasn't particularly attached to Colby, I'm not going to lie. But it doesn't mean he deserved to die. He was a good egg. He fought bravely. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. Against a goddamn dragon, of all things, you know? A noble man. How did I get across here in the first place? Because I can't figure out my way. <laughs> I cannot figure out how to get back. I think I can go down there. I'm just paranoid. I'm going to drown my companions. In the muck and the my mire. Magics are at your disposal. Okay, buddy. Come on, Hades. I'm going to catch my breath and give them all a second. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Oh, it's not very deep, is it? Right, anyways, back to town. All right, that was a little bit of a half hazard start to the video. I um didn't expect... Colby, I was quite excited. I loaded back in and saw Colby was still alive. I was like, yes, we can rescue him. Because I don't want them to die on my watch. You know what I mean? It's like, no matter how useful they are, no matter if they're about to be replaced, and we'd already talked about replacing Colby, um, it doesn't mean I want him to die. What I do want to do is do a little bit of exploration as well. Like, I want to go, like, like just this path here. This path here. Who knows what mysteries lie off these paths? I'm already... A third down on my health or something. I don't, I'm not going to do it yet. We'll do a um, bit of exploration soon. Maybe when we go to... Is that that goddamn dragon again? Trader! Hail, friend. Of every ilk. What have you got? What have you got? What have you got? Nothing that I want. Pleasure doing business with you. One day. Really now. You mustn't shirk your duty. Lest you forget, tis the arisen we serve here. Someone will sell me a great sword. I'm gonna live in that world. Although if we go to the border town We could potentially just straight up buy one. <clears throat> there's there's potential though. Who's poisoned? No idea. I'm sorry, Piggy. I'm sorry. You're just so delicious. Is that victim blaming? <laughs> I think that's technically victim blaming. It's your fault for being delicious. Be less sumptuous, Scottish damn it. I'm really paranoid about that dragon. It's like the griffin, where it's just, it's just now a factor of the landscape, you know, where every now and again I'm going to see it fly overhead. I wonder if there's only one. In the area, Griffin wise. Ba da bum. It's a lovely little jaunt through the woods. Nothing to see here. I've, I've had to kill very little. Maybe it's because we've just been here. And things don't respawn that quickly, I suppose. Hail, friend! I'm not going to talk to you because you're going to try. Everyone in the wild is a pawn, basically. If you ever meet someone, they're a pawn willing to be recruited by you. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. Let us ponder how best to proceed. Oh, hello. Okay, I hear some spooky ass noises coming from this thing. Those harpies. I think. Hello. Fancy a broken arm? Why, that's my speciality. Okay, Mesa. Seems a bit unnecessary. <laughs> I just want to investigate the weird singing tower, if you don't mind. I don't know if I'm just... I don't know if it's a coincidence if there just happens to be a tower and there happens to be some harpies nearby, you know, or if they're related. Having more of these to hand or serve us well in battle. I think it's a coincidence. The They'll definitely get louder, though. Ow.
Ah, my god. That's a lot of harpies. What the heck? What? So many harpies. Let the elements empower your strikes. Sing through this one, you numpty. This is all on you, Thea. Ring of awareness. What's that do? Uh, oh yeah, I, I kind of figured it would be a sleep thing. I want, can I use this? Take care where you place your feet. A sharp incline is like to throw us off balance as huh. our enemies. Hmm. Weird. Well, I got the ring. Let's get out of here. Are you out? Are you mind? Hades just been chilling on the staircase. And <laughs> no interest whatsoever. Wait. Understandably. No. Ah. I do wish. I, sometimes I wish I was playing an archer. I'm. I'm quite looking forward to playing, trying out the archers and stuff like that, that at some point. Is best avoided here. Yeah, well, I know you think that, Hades. You've just been sitting down here chilling, not doing a bloody... What is this question? What is the possible source of this excellent... Do I need to get on the rock? Is that the thing? Maybe. I'm just going to leave. I've got hiccups. Don't tell anyone, though. Mad. The random singing tower. Uh, right. Which way am I going? Right. This way. We're actually quite close to town. I was going to say, oh, it'll be safe in town, but obviously... Balthasar, Balthasar... Oh, god damn it, guys. <laughs> That's... As a matter of fact, curious thing. Poison ought to be cured with <laughs> all due haste. You guys okay? <laughs> that was Woo! thrilling. I did not know I could feel so alive. I have not once done my my um, RB to block fall damage, and it sounded really cool, so I'm going to have to do that soon. Right, let's get into town, let's heal up, do a little bit of inventory management, and then we're going to take the ox car out of the east. Plan established. What's that from? I always knew it would end this way. Oh, uh, community. You guys. Thea, how do you feel? At least I've got I've got a woman in the group again. <laughs> I don't just have my harem of men follow me around. As much as that might be the dream. So that's the Oh, I wanna go there, so oh. No, we should we should heal first. The thinking I have is I know that the stuff that the greatsword and the mage stuff are quite expensive, right? At this other town. So assumedly I could maybe buy like, a broadsword. That's also more expensive. We're going to go do that later, though. We'll do that next. Let's go heal up first. And then I want to go check out the other town. Melve. Melve. Is it Melve or is it the other place? I don't remember. God, I need to heal, though. Hello? Forgive me for stopping by unannounced. I was so eager to see you, I neglected to think of your convenience. And, lo and behold, you are out. At least I remember to bring you a gift in recompense. I shall leave it here. I only hope we will see each other again, Anon, for I long to hear more of your tales about the world, your life, and your experiences. Sven. Sven's... I mean... I, have no issue falling I was nice to him. <laughs> you know, I, I was nice to him, but I, I think the kid needs to settle down a little bit. He's getting a little bit... I trust we've all a little league of beaver. Off we go, then. How am I doing weight-wise? I should be fine, right? I do want to do a little inventory management because I don't have a camping kit and that annoys me. Which means I'm being silly because I can actually do that at my beloved house. I really hope we can keep this thing because being able to inventory management without talking to anyone and being able to rest for free are huge. Absolutely huge. 
So, did I pick up any of this? Oh my god. How am I carrying around 18 copper ore? Where the hell did it come from? 28 beasts. Where's all this? Oh, wait, no. I'm... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm an idiot. Never mind. I was going to say, there's no way I had all that, right? There we go. Um, I'm going to sell the books. That's what I want to do. Oh, that's pretty okay. The rings are so light. I don't really mind uh, <clears throat> carrying them around. Hmm. Okay, cool. Come on, gang, let's head for the town. Which, uh, for all I know, is absolutely goddamn nothing. And then, if it is, we'll go to the border town next. So, we are heading... I swear I used to be able to see this on the map. Oh, it's there, it's there. I'm gonna go left. Left? Left. There it is. Lovely jubbly. Hopefully, this is gonna take us to the town I wanna go to, actually. <laughs> I suppose that's kind of the point. If you're enjoying life, does all else matter? Very true, Naomi. Very true. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. Yeah, but I don't know who owns the ox cart. Convenient, <laughs> though they travel only during the day. Is it you? Oi there, friend. Care to help a fellow out? Maybe. All I ask is that you hear my request. What have you got to lose? All right, Donovan. What's up? My thanks, sir. As to the matter at hand, it concerns my ox cart business. Okay. I've been holding off service on account of all the monsters on the road, but now I feel prepared to start making trips to Mel again. Well, that's handy. Only trouble is, there are still monsters about, and I can't help but worry for the safety of the carts. Okay. That's where you come in. See, I've got a letter here from Lady Margit, the Watchhead's wife, to be delivered to one Sir Leonard in Melv. I'd like you to accompany the cart in my stead, and see to it that the letter reaches its recipient. What say you, friend? What say you? Sure. Splendid. I knew I was right to put my faith in you. Now, the carts only depart at certain hours of the day. But I find that time flies when I take a seat at the station to wait. And mind you, don't forget to pay your way before you board. That's standard practice. And I would advise against trying any funny business. Excuse me, <laughs> but what do you mean pay your way before you board? Is he saying in general, not right now? If I'm going to help, I'm here to to help your business for free. You haven't offered a reward. I'm sure there will be one, but he hasn't offered a reward. Each cart travels with an escort of trained soldiers, see, in case it encounters any monsters out on the road. So anyone thinking of riding for free he will have to take the issue up with them. But enough of my lecturing. Just make sure that letter gets to Sir Lennart. Then come find me when the job's done. Oh, and I'll pay your fare this right. time. Seeing as you're doing me a favour and all. That's better. Come find me when you've delivered that letter. I'll be waiting to hear from you. We ought to see this to it. In every age, when the Arisen fells the dragon oh. and saves the land, they ascend to the throne as sovereign. Hence, horns are treated with respect as a matter of course here in Vermont. For their peerless loyalty to the Arisen. Not to mention, they are skilled combatants, willing to brave any foe or peril upon command. Tis clear their concept of life and death differs crucially from our own. No mortal can match their dedication. Okay, good talk. I go where for Who's the Oscar? Do I need to talk to this guy? You like to run into some monsters on the way. Should the cart be assailed? Okay. I think it's already because he gave me two hundred gold, so I was assuming I had to pay. This journey will be a long one. What say we employ an ox cart and save our feet the blisters? That's the idea. It's the Arisen's choice to make. Though I certainly wouldn't begrudge the chance to put my feet up. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna get on the cart. The 
This ox cart's bound for Melv. Hey, Nian. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. There we go. There's my money. Here you go. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. <laughs> Perhaps new discoveries await us above. <laughs> they don't. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to doze off. And um, I'm sure we'll be waking up by something terrifying in due course. Otherwise it wouldn't be much of a quest, would it? My patience there we go. Thin. I don't know. Kind of chill. That's <laughs> enough. Oh, Mildred. It's back. Already. Hopefully to give me a house. <laughs> was a whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, is that the same dragon? No, it's different. Oh, hey, it's... Okay. I mean, it's got the same amount of health. It's got pulses on it. It's got... Well, I guess we kill these, right? Gang. The advent of calamity. It's not the same. It's not the same dragon. I'll tell you that much. Slice and dice. Slice and dice. God, look at its head. Jesus Christ. Gang okay? Gang's okay. My priorities just keep slashing away at this arm, if you don't mind. Ow. I thought, I thought I've gotten off in time. I did not. Get me up, Balf. Get me up. Good lad. Good lad. I'm struggling to get... I want to go into its head. That's what I just said, Balf. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go! Get in! Yeah, there we go. It's not much damage, but it's more. I don't think I want to hit it in the head. I want to aim for this pustule over here. These things happen. Matching one's movement with another's is not so simple as it sounds. There we go, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Popped it. There, let me get up some stamina. Do I have any stamina? Lashing out when attacked. Might we not use this to our advantage? Whoa! 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 I forgot about me. I want. What? Get the pustule! There we go, that's another one down. Um, I really lack stamina puritives. No. Curatives, I should say, if I was speaking English. All, of, like, the vast majority of things I've got is stamina um, health, I mean. it's This is all... Oh, there we go. I mean, they're, they're healing and stamina, but whatever. When you get that one on the neck. Go, go, go. There we go. There we go! I have no stamina, I can't do anything, man! Oh, 
Rip and tear until it's done. Rip and tear until it's done. Oh. Got this guy. Keep on going. Keep on going. I need to get off. I need to get off. Shield? Nope. Ow. Oh, 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 I was so nearly dead. Bloody Nora, that was close. I did try the RB thing. It didn't work. Oh. Oh, we didn't kill it, but we knocked it away. Show yourself. Well, we're good. It's me. a lesson in determination. Somehow I knew you'd come. You have my gratitude as well, sir. Ulrika, glad I am to see you unharmed. You must return to the village. Everyone is concerned for you. Forgive me. I'd best go. But I shan't forget this. Thank you. Truly. You're welcome. Worm's Life Crystal. That wasn't the dragon, but a poor imitation of it. No wonder I feel so hollow. Re visit Melv from... Look, look at this guy's weapon. Visit Melv from time to time. Hello. Sigurd, you're the current Arisen, aren't you? I pray you do not walk the same path as I have. Were you an Arisen? Tis a style all my own. A patchwork of techniques honed for the sole purpose of slaying the dragon. Whoa, new vocation. Mystic spear hand. Okay, that's exciting. Um, I don't know if there's anything else to do here. I'll, I'll come back in a bit. Oh wait, no, I'm still, I'm still. Uh, quests. Melva suffered the dragons twice now. People doubtless be need the aid if they're to rebuild. Should return to the village from time to time. See how they're getting gone. Oh wait, this is uh. It's flashing at me like, okay, so maybe when it's got the time on it, that means get it done now, <laughs> or you know, <laughs> you're in trouble basically. At last we've arrived, delivery in hand. Yeah, are you going to take me? Once we've concluded this bit of business, we might allow ourselves a moment's rest. Oh, we did just right take down the dragon. Are. Help me out, Hades. Where are we going? We need to find Venar. Let's find Venar. I just saw him a second there. Yes, I was going to talk to you. Hello. I've a selection of wares that's sure to please. I like your moustache. Uh, a ring that grants power to the wearer whose spirit resonates with its magic. What the heck does that mean? <laughs> a ring that grants power to the wearer whose spirit resonates with magic boosts strength. Spirit resonates with its magic. It just says boost strength. <laughs> So, yeah, that sounds, that sounds good. I guess I probably don't need just carry away stuff. Benart! You're Benart, right? Wasn't sure we'd survive Lenart. That, but here we are. That was close. My thanks for your efforts. I, what can I do for you? Your hair's a bit silly. Ah, a letter from Lady Margaret, you say? It is a fair way you've come, then. My thanks. She's a kindly sort, I must say. We met when I worked with her husband, Sir Gregor, on one occasion. Now she's taken to inquiring after my health at the turn of every season. Shall we report our results? Okay, yep, yeah, we can head back to town. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to do here particularly, so we'll go... Oh, wait, look at all this with two. What's that mean? Why is this the two? Things have changed, folks. I'm scared. That's a one, but there are two. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Maybe it's like a stage in a quest. That could be it. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't think there's anything else to do here, so... Can well, I take the ox cart back? I don't want to run this miles away. Shall we inform Sir Donovan, Master? <clears throat> we shall indeed, if my friend. If you kind as to follow me, I shall take you to the one you seek. Hades, mate. Well, would you insist? I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. Guys? 
Okay. <laughs> I haven't quite figured this out yet. It's you, isn't it? I'm not taking any passengers just now, sir. Oh, we need to. Uh, most cars depart in early morning. If you arrive too late or too early, you pass time to the next departure of the Oxcart station. What's more? It's not a station, Oxcart though. We call on you to carry the burdens we cannot. I must thank you. Your toil keeps me light on Um. Um. Oh, oh, they got an inn now. I just saw something down here. I need a way to kill time till morning. I saw something. I need a bench. Oh, there's a bed. Nice. And little Melv is uh, recovered a little. Is this a challenge arisen to see who can keep pace? I mean, other than the dragon attack that he just went through, obviously. Up, though we are less fleet of foot. This simp behavior. <laughs> it's, this is, that's all this game is really. It's just simps. There's a ladder here. After you. You know what? Fine. Fine. There is a ladder. You're not wrong. I will climb it. Lest you continue to talk about it. You happy now? <laughs> Most of the time, like, this is a building. Look, look, there's a staircase for the love of God. It doesn't... <laughs> ah, and I've been here before. God damn it, Theo. You don't need to climb every ladder I see. I assure you, it's not necessary. And I've climbed it and descended it, and yet the exclamation mark remains. Uh, this is going to cost me 2k, but it is what it is. Here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation for those who've seen oh, Of course. It. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough of that. So can we... Yeah. One sec. Only the Risen can assess... So this is me only, which is exciting. A melding of magic and physicality. Ceaseless attacks leave no room to counter. Taking down foes in moments. Weapon skills... Oh, these are my current ones. It seems to be... Oh, I'm, I'm level 6 on this, though. I'm close. Augments. <gasps> Additional carry weight. Additional carry weight. <laughs> there was no world where I wasn't picking that up. Um, I think we might swap. That sounds really exciting. And look at it. I mean, look at the weapon. I really wanted to... I'm not a sword and shield person. I said that from the start. And since I can't play warrior, I think we're going to play Mystic Spearhand. Nice. Fundamentals of battle. Mystic spear hands wield magic and the duo spear, enabling them to fight at range and in close... And plus we need range damage, don't we? Fighting range and in close quarters with equal ease. Their ability to halt the enemy's movement with charged burst of magic makes a swift defense their best defense, for they have few means of evading attacks at their disposal only the Arisen can acquire. Also, the fact that it's Arisen only makes it more exciting, doesn't it, really? <clears throat> Holding down RB to charge up your magic for unleashing a redoubted bolt will halt the enemy in their tracks, giving you opportunity to bombard them with attacks until they recover. Longer the charge time, longer they'll be restrained. Magic can be charged up while moving and attacking, but stamina only recovers while stationary. When you land an attack using Y, it'll change to a powerful successive strike if the target is downed or knocked off balance, or they're not expecting the attack. Powerful successive strikes should be carefully aimed as they leave you vulnerable. Okay, so I need to... I mean, the, the weapon's sick. Loads of magic damage. It's really strong. <laughs> um, like, it's just stronger than everything. Although, it's probably slower. So, we'll, we'll go upgrade that a little bit. What else did we get? Can't use the shield anymore, obviously. I mean, it's all good stuff anyway. I look awesome. <laughs> More importantly, I look great. And it's all upgrades along the... Hey. Did you need something? I'll see we're heavy now, that makes sense. Uh, yes, yeah, so I would like to rest. And we're loaded. Rest, the sun is still up. Yo! <laughs> I mean, you could also suggest that it's a continuation of fighter, in that it's Tomorrow, everyone. melee and maybe um, I just talk to magic or something. To I know you can I swap vocations well. and that theoretically you should swap vocations because um How the hell do I get out of here? Well, you should swap vocations because you want you want to unlock all the. Oh, I need to I need to talk to him again. Here at the inn, we also I need to do this quickly get though. So few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. Uh -huh. Okay, so we've got dragons. Dragoon stab it. <laughs> Kicks off a magical pl platform to gain momentum before delivering a forceful jab. Employable against flying targets. Press the assign button on the ground or in midair. 
Conjures magical blades that fly at the target of their own accord. Not especially powerful, can be activated while moving or while using another attack. Sure. Core skills. Disperses for boding bolt after it's been unleashed. And snails. Okay, so it scatters the bolt, I think. Press RB when it connects with a foe to then let it jump around. And then augments. It's just the two that I already had. But enough of that, me. Did you do come again? But as I say, it makes sense to level up all the vocations <clears throat> because that's how you get all the augments, right? Or maybe it makes sense at the very least to level them up to get the ones that you want to get. But for me, and I am probably going to do that, I don't, I'm not going to suggest otherwise, but I quite like sure playing a singular a class in games time. because I don't I feel like you attach yourself more to your character, you know? Oh, there is a weight thing here. <laughs> well, I'm glad we went back anyway. You know, you kind of get more attached to your character, I think, if they've got a more definable, consistent playstyle. Because it makes them feel like a singular character. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. You know, they, they feel like a, a single sustained character. Whereas if you do every single skill in the world and you, you try a bit of everything, it doesn't really feel like you're playing as one character, you know? So I think from a roleplay perspective, I tend to find something I like and stick to it. Now, obviously, we couldn't have played Spear Hand from the start, so that's a little bit different. But I can see a world where we stick with this now for a long time. Cheers for the ride, buddy. Look at it. it looks awesome. <laughs> now, the first thought is, of course... Oh, wait. What's this quest? Just tell me to go over there. Oh, of course, me talk to Thingy, don't we? Let's go do that. First of all, to go get some equipment, but I want to go to that other town before we do that. Ah, you've returned. How did you fare on the journey to Melv? I mean, look at me. Splendid. You've been an immense help, I must say. The cart reached its destination safe and sound, and from the tell of it, you even rid the road of a few monsters. <laughs> you've certainly earned a reward, my friend. Here you are. I mean, I didn't, did I? I really expected the cart to get stopped, but it didn't at all. Carts seem a convenient choice for longer journeys. I see no harm in making use of them as needed, Master. There's not that many journeys. I don't know what to tell you. Supposed to so. Beggar's not here. Interesting. Albert, nowhere to be found. Oh right, well we're here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's go talk to Mildred. <laughs> There's so much I want to do. I'm excited. It is worth noting. I'm probably going to be rubbish for a little while as well because I'm trying to learn like a whole new class. But this is more my kind of speed. Hello, Mildred. We have arrived. Good tidings, friend. How have you been keeping? I need a bit of beverage. Bear with me. As for me, I made the most of my week-long sojourn. One might even say I enjoyed myself over much. You see. I grew so fond of the destination my feet carried me off to, methinks I should like to live there. And that's when I thought, mayhap you've grown just as fond of this dwelling. Fond enough to purchase it from <clears throat> Okay, how much would this have to cost for me to say no? Just before it comes up, let's hazard a guess. If it costs more than... I reckon... I've got about 80k, so I reckon I'd probably spend 40. 50 is probably about where I'm going to get a little bit iffy. So let's see. I can't just give it to you. I've my relocation Whoops. cost to consider, <laughs> but I'd sell it to you cheap as I can afford. No, oh, there goes my drink. <laughs> well, friend, what say you? How much is it, Mildred? 20,000. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm why, why am I so poor? <laughs> where did my Wait, where did all my gold go? I swear I had 80. Did I misread? And oh, 20's fine. Much obliged, friend. I hope you're as pleased with our deal as I am. This little dwelling's all yours now. We've got a house. I have my own home to get to. I hope you'll be happy here, friend. Farewell. See you, Mildred. It's my house. My little house. Nice. Um, I mean, you think about it. If we sleep in it ten times, we've saved. We've, we've broken even, right? So it definitely makes sense to uh, purchase it. Like I said, I, I'd have been willing to pay 
double, basically. Um, mm, I was going to go sell the equipment, but I shouldn't. Oh, no, I shouldn't really, should I? You know, the fighter stuff, because we're probably going to want to go back to fighter at some point and get those last three levels and try to uh, lock all the extra things. So I'm going to drop my armor. Oh, see, I say that out loud, <laughs> as I want to do. But I think like we're going to level up this one now for like nine times, right? So by the time I get there, surely these are going to be rubbish anyway. Right? Like, my gear is not going to scale with me. The gear is... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, the trick is to find really good gear that will work for every single class. I guess every vocation, I suppose. Right, let's go sell some stuff, and then we're going to try to hit up the border town. Um, I wonder if they sell anything for this class. The goblin's lair. Oh, shut up. I hope you can There's nothing there. <laughs> to bring me peace of mind. Right, let me sell some things. I will sell the meat, because I'm just never there. Oh, I need to get a... Um, Camp thing as well. Oops, easy. Sell the books every time. What is this? Using high order enhancement. Very cool. Ah! Scarcely seen in Batal, scarcely seen in Elven Lands. Right, so I assume we're in Elven Lands now, maybe? Maybe not. So the Jaspers, we sell them in Batal, I'm guessing is the idea, right? That must be the idea. Right. To know someone taught them a lesson. Okay, right. One more trip. One more trip home. And then we'll uh we'll head over. Oh look, it's got a little icon as well, that's handy. It'll turn out that I hate playing Mystic Spear Hand. <laughs> and um I desperately want to swap back, but I've already done all this gear. Uh, let me just deposit some things. These, mainly, and these for now. And then, withdraw. I don't know what Balthazar has done with my camping gear, frankly. But um, he's, he's lost it. No, he hasn't. It's there. What? It wasn't there before, was it? Am I crazy? Also, I gave him this. I've got the Chirurgeon's Tome that we picked up. Allowing him to use curatives on the Arisen and other allies, but I don't know how to use it. I've got it, but I don't know how to use it. Um, let's have a look at it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's how you do it. Cool. I don't know how we then control Balthazar's specialization, but awesome. Hmm, that hints to me that maybe I want two of these. I'm wondering if, like, what happened was that Balthazar, that we got attacked while camping or something, and I just missed it. I don't know, something like that. Right, finally. Actually, one more thing. <laughs> equipment. My current equipment, is it spear hand only? It's spear hand... Okay, that's everything. This is... Li minus hosen is literally everything. Wait, didn't I replace that? Whatever. That is just spear hand, but that's spear hand and something else we haven't seen yet. Still two more. I wonder what they are. I think they're fusions. So it's this is warrior mage, and then there'll be warrior rogue. No, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> right. Anyways, anyways. So we want to head towards. Um. There. <clears throat> Just easier put a little marker. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Nope. That could have. Perhaps it. new discoveries await us. <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? Those of you who've seen Community, I think it's like the first episode of um, season five or six. And it's, it's going through like all the new classes and stuff, and one of them is literally ladders. The class is just ladders. And then he introduces, like, ladies and gentlemen, ladders! And the crowd, the class, goes absolutely crazy for ladders. That's exactly how I feel about this. Okay, wait, ox cart. I wonder if this is going to skip me forward to the next morning. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's try this border town out. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. Checkpoint rest town, even. I need to see some coin before I let you on. Bit more expensive. 
If our destination is a distant <laughs> one, travel by ox cart might be worth considering. What we might do is ox cart our way there and walk course. back. We'll see how far away it is. Because then, um, you know, we can explore a little bit. I feel like I want to go off the beaten track and explore some side stuff a little bit more than we have been doing. I always get a little paranoid with quests because I'm like, well, I want to... Ooh, ooh, look at this. That'll do. Cheers, buddy. I get a little paranoid with the quests because the game has obviously made quite a big point that um, quests can fade over time, right? They don't last forever. So I want to make sure I'm not going to screw up. I see you over there. I see you. Common reward, frustratingly so. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so where are we, first of all? Okay, uh, mm, it's not that long. It's, it's about the same length from... Well, we started in Mel, didn't we? We went along this massive journey, which we also did by walking. So I think, yeah, I think we'll walk back to town after we're done exploring this. I think this is bordering with Batal, I guess. So we can walk back this way. There's a route there. Yeah. And that gets me there, though. Where's, where's this capital? There. Yeah, I can see a route. So I think we'll do that and we'll go and, you know, take some side roads and stuff like that and have a little poke around. And I want to do that. In the, and I just want to explore the entire map and see some silly things. Hades. Let's have a look at this little town. Well, not that little, actually. Settlement on the Vermond Batal border, yeah. I'm not going to go to Batal. I'm going to wait until the main story takes me to Batal, because I'm assuming that's going to happen at some point. I don't think we could even get in if we wanted to right now. <clears throat> I believe Batal is the the place of the Bistron. And it wasn't there in the last game. Uh, this Vermund was. Vermund is the... reached our destination. That's from the last game. Ways to travel, I suppose. Smithy, hello. What have you got? Well, hello there, sir. What can I do you for? Not that I really need to ask. Ah, oh, there's always demand for weapons, particularly near the border, where quarrels occur every other day. I was consuming beverage. Bye. Okay. Frost crusted sword. That's awesome. Um, anything for me? <laughs> anything for me at all? No, weapon-wise, I don't think so. No, actually nothing for me, weapon-wise. Oh no, now I'm sad. Okay, but that's an archie staff, right? So isn't that what I need for the mission? I think so, and there's the flamberge, the greatsword. Oh no, that hammer though. Okay, so life taker. Let's just let's just buy them. Let's just do it. So meniscus, it's only twenty six thousand. It's half my gold, but it's going to unlock two more vocations, which I'm not going to play. <laughs> At least not right now. We will in the future. And look, there's, there's, these aren't going to run out, so we can buy these again if we want to. Blech. Let's all upgrade these. Mia's might never heard of it. I get the feeling like the basic gear for this class is really good. Chopper horn. Um, yeah, screw it. Okay, they're fully upgraded. Makes sense. Uh, go on then. Uh, go on then. <clears throat> Saves me a bit of weight. Gets me a bit of defense. Need more chopper horns next. Um, and Mia's might, which I've never heard of. Um, I can't believe they didn't sell a weapon. I'm really surprised by that. What about armor? That's pretty cool. Should have thought about this before I... Well, it's like very expensive. It's all my money. It's all my... It looks awesome, but it's all my cash. Uh... Oh. 
So is that. I actually can't afford that. Okay. Raptor claws. The cape seems really strong. Oh, man, though. Look at it with all the fairy bits. Hmm. What about for Balth? Anything for Balth? That's a good upgrade. Oh, it's so much money, though, man. It's so much money. No, I'm not making him wear... Th oh, that's really... Actually, it's not bad. That's a good, chunky upgrade. But he looks ridiculous. <laughs> he really does look awful with it. Um, I really want to get him that as well. That's a huge increase on all of his stats. We can come back. We can come back with more money down the line. Ought to be our next priority. Okay, so... Oh, you there. You've just arrived in town, haven't you? Hey, Morris. I don't mean to pry, only it's my grandson, a boy by the name of Rog. He's gone missing. Pray tell, have you seen the lad? I haven't. I'm Morris. sorry. I've just found out Rog has been abducted by beasts. No, no. What? No. How can that be? I've just heard news. Rog was seen being dragged off by wolves. Oh, my poor boy. We must go rescue him at once. You say that, Morris, but I suspect you won't be helping, will you? Morris, think what you're saying, friend. We can't go charging off after the lad. We are no match for such creatures. Called up. Do you truly expect me to do naught but twiddle my thumbs when my only grandson's been taken from me? The soldiers won't do aught for him, will they now? Consarn it all. He's right. But what else am I to do? If I do not hasten to the poor lad's aid, who will? It's very passive aggressive, isn't it? In a way, like, if I don't do it, who will? Wink. Like he's just sort of nudging us. Did it say you nothing. You <laughs> mean that, sir? You will save my grandson. I will. If you return him to me, I will be forever in your debt, stranger. Okay, we well, you've got something in your shop, I'm going to. Ah. Fernworth? How are things there? The ancient battleground to the north is overrun with hordes of fell beasts, and so little are survivors anticipated that you'll find not even a checkpoint here. In times past, twas safe enough a night when the monsters sleep, but no longer. Since a few days past, skeletons and phantoms have made this their nightly battleground. Tis nigh impassable now. It could be that aught's befallen the cenotaph. I'd heard the spirits had calmed somewhat since twas erected. Mm -hmm. Say, if I cannot dissuade you from traversing the ancient battleground, would you consider passing by the cenotaph and making sure aught's are right with it? If I had so many posh people for this game. Will do. Then I'll get a quest for that. Oh, you're a merchant. Could it be yours before in the Senate? If I cannot dissuade you from pre. Oh. Okay, but I don't know where the cenotaph is. Am I meant to know where the cenotaph is? Hey, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> oh, speak to the townsfolk. Right. Well, he said he said something about the northern checkpoint. I don't know. Whatever. We'll find him. So there's an inn. What's this? Um. There's a vocation guild. What's this with the uh, the the paper here? Scrap store. Welcome, sir. Contrary to the name, this little shop of mine deals in naught but the finest treasures. If you think me a liar, then buy something and see the truth for yourself. What do you sell? Oh, fairy stones. Bistran, Bistran Mask. Such intricate craftsmanship. A human can pass for a Bistran while wearing it. I mean, that sounds helpful, doesn't it? Worth a noble's ransom. When reunited with its twin, it grants access to a forgotten spell. Okay, I mean, he's got some interesting things. I'll give him that much. What? Why are these so expensive? It's wild. Ah. 
I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Very well. Oh, what? I can get him to make things. Oh, <gasps> 6,000 gold. Only 120, wait, what? Sure. I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little patience, many thanks to you. Okay. I mean, 120, yeah. You can have forgeries made. Simply bring along the item you wish to have a duplicate off. Pay the fee. Wait a few days for them to complete your order. Oh, be identical in appearance, won't necessarily share its function. From time to time, you may have a selection of special finds available for purchase. If there's an item you've lost or discarded, don't lose heart for a chance it may find its way here. Right. Yeah, it found its way here in ridiculous pricing. Okay, cool. Um... Right, so, so, exciting times. Next video, we're going to go rescue the kid from the wolves. Pray for the pack. Um, and I, I want to find out where this, this thing is about the cenotaph as well. But we might find that on the way back. As I say, we're going to go explore on our way back. And that's a good opportunity to level up our vocation and all that kind of jazz. Sounds like fun. I will see you lovely folks very, very soon. Thanks for joining me. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.